everyone, we are at Hellfest 2022 for the 15th anniversary and we have the great honor, pleasure to welcome Bad Religion, the legends, here in the studio. So how are you guys? Uh, we're just doing what legends do. <laughs> you know, skipping through time into 2022. Kind of hanging out at uh, Hellfest. We, we played here a number of times. We love it. It's not hell at all for us. It's nice. It is, compared to last week. So I know you have a great history with Hellfest and uh, you always play at the Warzone. So uh, do you have any uh, specific thing about this stage in particular? Because it's the punk rock and hardcore uh, stage. Um, well, they make us play there because we're a punk band. We can't sure. get, on, we can't get on the theatrical metal stage. It's our that's stage. Not the, that's not the, It's yours. It yeah. is. It's our stage. Damn it, we belong there. <laughs> so um, we'll own it. Yeah, and it's also cool because a lot of our friends play there. So yeah. over the years, it's like I still have pictures of like the first time I met the guys in Discharge or yeah. friends from, you know, it's just a cool place to be. Okay. And so guys, are you on tour right now? I know that it's, uh, tomorrow is the last day of the tour. Yeah. So what's your uh, general feelings about going back on tour after the whole thing we had uh, with the COVID virus? It was a welcome uh, return. Yeah. To rocking. <laughs> It was. What, what did you, what did, it was a welcome return to rocking. It was uh, a welcome return to rocking. <laughs> yeah, and, and we're very grateful. We're yeah, happy. I can't really yeah. go beyond it. Mike's not grateful. I am, personally. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. We, we never thought this I'm would happen. Ingrate. He's an ingrate, but that's punk. <laughs> okay. So what have you, have you been doing, guys, for the last two years during this? Playing guitar. Playing Practicing guitar. every day. I sat on my ass all goddamn day. Okay. Yeah, and I had this feud, a running feud with Superman who lives next door to me. And did a lot of push-ups. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike? Uh, I rode bicycles and ran. Yeah. Great thing to do. Yeah, yeah. just, just yeah. waited. Waited. Yeah, just waited to be back waited. before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now you're ha can we say that you're happy now? Uh, we were always happy, but we're happier. <laughs> Up here. Yes. <laughs> so uh, what is the future for Bad Religion? So are you going back on tour till the end of the year or next year or new albums? We're something? touring till the end of this year and we're already booked through half of next year. Okay. Um, no real concept of new music yet, uh, but that remains to be seen. We, we might rely on the previous 17 records to draw material from in this touring cycle. But okay. records always come once Brett and Greg have enough ideas, so we just kind of yeah. Hang and, out. and after talking, you know, Brett Brett's concept as a label owner isn't really album oriented anymore. Yeah, he just, sure. It's just it's streaming singles, EPs. Uh, so if we're going to go down that path, that would be the next thing we do. And talking about like gears, what is your like your goge strings on like tensions you like to play? Oh, I use uh, the purple, yep. uh, which I think is 4811. Am I wrong? Yeah. 4811. Uh, I use those because Mike turned me on to them. When he okay. joined the band, he was playing that particular gauge. Um, and I was like, well, he's that, that sounds better. With more aggressivity? It more just tension. has more tension. Yeah. Um, and we do play a half step down. Okay. So it kind of equalizes everything. But uh, I can really grab it. I like a little bit of a fight. Right. It just makes me play better. With more tension. More, more tension. tension, really. Yeah, I with like more, to create... With more power. Define power. <laughs> I like the purple ones. Purple, purple. is the perfect color. Yeah. Actually. For that, it's yellow. I, I, so, do you I, know, I don't, what, do you know I, what you... Play? I use the orange, the hybrid, the base hybrids. The hybrid, okay. 45, 105. The slinky, right? Yeah. Sure, okay. Um, that's well, do you have a five-string bass? No. Hybrid? It, What's next? It's a five-string, but it, only plays four. It's got... How it, many batteries are in the bass? <laughs> hybrid. It's a hybrid because it has a small. <laughs> we have we're, we're, we have like 1960s muscle. Cars. It has a small D and G string. Uh, like a like a normal set would be a 5105, it maybe 5110, but I play 45105s. So the, the the it's a it's a smaller uh, G string. I know it because G I have, string. I took like 20 <laughs> packs of your strings from our storage space for. Okay. My That's where they went. Yeah, so I have your <laughs> strings. Yeah, they're easier. The higher things are better. You know, on that last tour, I ran out of strings. I know why. So guys, so yeah. do you remember the first time you had your first Venable strings or anything? God, it was so long ago. It was the Warp Tour? Warp I think tour? is when we. I, I mean, were we using before then? 
I know we were THS when we were along like 20, 30, 30 years ago. We were boomers, and then we moved to Ernie Ball pretty early. I think I, I, 98? Yeah, I, 98 or 99? I remember I moved in and out of stuff, but when Slinkies came out, that was something that was like, okay. Yeah. And, and you know, for, for basic. I remember like three years ago, I interviewed the Dropkick Murphys, and they told me that as soon as they saw the name in the back of the package, they were like, okay, we made it. Because yeah. we have our names, and right. you have your names too, yeah, back in sure. the days. Um, yeah, it was also because Ernie Ball was uh, just showing up at the work, those work tours, those early ones, was really cool. Like, you're introducing kids to this, I don't know, I just like the fact that they were smart enough to see what a great source yeah, of, actually, I don't. Uh, did you know people. that they were they they came out on the '98 Warp Tour on the Warp Tour, and yeah, they yeah. had the strings and they, they brought basses and guitars for, sure. for everyone to play. That's why we did this right now. Yeah, it was a, it was a big us. part of getting people like especially those kids into playing music. Yeah, yeah. and we support that. I, it played a big part because I remember when I was kids, I was just looking at the bands, the back oh, the yeah. package. I was like, okay, one day, <laughs> one day, one day, <laughs> one day, I'm gonna inter- I'm gonna interview those bands one day. Yeah. And that's great. And thank you so much, guys. I'm not taking too long. No, I know you fine. have a busy schedule, and uh, you play headline tonight at the War Zone. Yep. And uh, I wish you all the best. Have a great time here, and thank you so much for your time. Merci beaucoup. Thank Merci. you.